course video series presented by Narendra from Do It Python Technologies. In this video, we are going to see what is AWS CLI and how to install AWS CLI. So let me start about uh, what is AWS CLI. Right? See, AWS CLI. Basically, it means AWS CLI means Amazon Web Services command line interface. That means it is an interface between your Amazon Web Services and the command line of your local host. Just assume that this is your AWS account, right? You are having here AWS account and this is suppose your personal PC, right? Personal computer. So you are having for your PC some command line and this is your AWS account. So basically to work with your AWS, right? Initially we are going to open one browser and we are entering www.aws.amazon.com, right? Now, instead of working with your AWS using browser, you can also work with that AWS services from command line of your local host. That means from your personal PC, right? Now, this AWS CLI will help us to work with your AWS account from command line of your PC. That's why it is called command line interface. That's it, right? Very simple. It is Amazon Web Services command line interface. That's it, okay? Okay. Then, so finally, you can say that it is used to operate or work with AWS services from command line. That's it. Now, in order to use your AWS CLI commands to work with your AWS from the local host command line, you should have one package on your host that is simply AWS CLI. Then how to install that AWS CLI on your local host, right? There are different ways to install AWS CLI on your local host. So here I'm going with pip. That means Python installing package management, right? See, to install your AWS CLI, you can use pip command, which is from Python. That means if you are going with this method on your host, first of all, you should install Python. Python 2.7 is the suggestible one or even more than that, no problem, but don't take a uh, less than 2.7. It's better to work with 2.7. So first install Python 2.7.x version on your host, then try to work with this command. Okay, suppose I'm going to show that. Just let me open my command line. Before going to work with your command. Okay, first of all, whether I'm having Python or not. Yes, I'm having and anyway, I'm having 2.7.15 and whether I set the path for my pip command or not. Yes, I did that. Okay, now you can use this command to install your AWS CLI. Okay, now I am installing that using pip install AWS CLI. The same syntax, even it is applicable for your uh, Unix like systems as well. But the thing is, whenever if you are working with your pip command, no, you should have root access. Of course, even on your uh, Windows also, you should have that. So already I am the root user. I am I'm, I'm the admin for this local host. So directly it will work, right? So pip install AWS CLI. And while working with this, you should have internet connectivity. Then only your pip command will work, okay? So it is going to install your AWS CLI on your host. So it's going to install, it will take some time. Just wait.
till it is installing yeah it has been installed okay now once if it is installed just check it whether it has been installed successfully or not so for that you can use simply aws space hyphen hyphen version if you get some output no then you installed your aws cli on your host now it has been installed and that is the version 1.6.38 suppose you already installed your aws cli suppose one week back or one month back or one year back now you want to upgrade your aws cli on your host Yes, you can upgrade simply by using this command itself. At the end, you just add hyphen hyphen upgrade. Okay. So anyway, just now only we installed that. That's why definitely we will uh, we are having latest version. So already requirements already up to date. Okay. After one week or after one month, suppose if you get some latest version in your AWS CLI, okay. To upgrade that, just use aw pip install aws cli space hyphen hyphen upgrade that's it okay so now i installed on my host aws cli so for that this is the verification if you get some output okay now you are having aws cli on your host okay see suppose if you want to install this aws uh, cli on your uh, any unix like systems uh, let me take suppose linux suppose let me connect with my RHL 7 server. Yeah. See, before going to install your AWS CLI with the help of pip command, first of all, you have to check whether Python is there or not. Yes, it is there. If it is there, just check it whether pip is there or not. Yes, it is there. Okay. See here, I'm using 2.7.5, but on Windows, suppose I have 2.7.15. If it is 2.7, then it's fine. After that, whatever it may be minor version, no problem. Or even more than 2.7, I mean, you can, you can also use 3.x as well to install your AWS CLI on your host, but don't use less than 2.7. Okay. Now, pip install AWS CLI. That's it. So it's going to collect, right? Oh, sorry. Observe here. Permission denied, right? Actually, I am the EC2 user. Okay, just go to root and install, or anyway, for my EC2 user, I'm having root privileges. So I'm installing sudo pip install. Let me clear my screen first. See, sudo pip install AWS CLI. That's it. Right? It has been installed. Once if it is installed, just check it. AWS space hyphen hyphen version. Yes, you are having 1.16.38 AWS CLI version on your host. So here also, in case if you want to upgrade, okay, your AWS CLI, simply if you are the root user, no need to use sudo. If you are any other user which is having some root privileges, then you can use sudo pip install AWS CLI space hyphen hyphen upgrade. That's it. That's it, guys. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe my channel to get more updates whenever we post some new videos.